Welcome to ISE's ETF and Index Weekly Outlook, a weekly outlook on ETFs and ISE's indexes, hosted by Patrick Ceresna, the Chief Derivative Market Strategist at Optionsource.net. ISE has a portfolio of more than 20 proprietary indexes based on a diverse range of fast-growing industries and emerging markets. Our team of indexing experts is dedicated to creating these innovative indexes and partnering with issuers to launch unique investment vehicles. This includes exchange-traded funds, exchange-traded notes, and other structured products. ISE continually enhances its trading platform and develops new index products to provide investors with the best marketplace and investment tools to trade smarter. Hello and welcome to the ISC ETF and Index Outlook for June 11th, 2012. This is Patrick Ceresna. As always, we start off with a chart of the S&P 500 using that Spider Exchange Rate Fund symbol SPY. And what this chart is not showing is that uh, there was a, a bailout of Spanish banks over the uh, weekend, which uh, is having the market start off on a positive note, indicating that we probably have as much as 15, 20 S&P points that could potentially be higher uh, by the time you're watching uh, this recording. And really, at this stage, uh, we were looking for a short-term bottom to come in uh, around the uh, the uh, the 128 129 level and we suggest they could even uh in a, a very quick rapid fashion even downdraft as low as the 122 to 124 area on the downside but it's clear now that uh, the supports initially at that 128 level uh have held at this juncture uh the market uh, is likely to uh do one of two things uh at this stage in the summer uh one is that it simply does a retracement as we approach this 134 to 135 area we could even see temporary testing as high as 136 or 137 on the upside and then find substantial overhead uh resistance in 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 the uh, retracement zones but there is also a chance that uh, we may see a retest of the highs uh, around that 141 to 142 level on the upside while we don't favor the most bullish scenario at this juncture uh, it is also something that's not out of uh, line and we certainly can't be shocked if we saw that uh, if we did see a rally to either one of these areas we still do believe that there's plenty of time this uh, summer for there to still be yet another round of weakness that uh, will at least at minimum come back to retest the lows if not even make lower lows at some later point uh, but for now uh, we probably are going to be seeing some sort of a one week to even multi-week rally that uh, we'll see w uh, what uh, initial upside targets we get to. What I want to look at next here is the ISC Natural Gas Index, which is symbol FUM. There's a number of ETF products oriented around that. At this stage, we've now officially retested the October low, which came in around that 86 level. Uh, really, at this stage, with a, a solid retest down here, it is likely that uh, the natural gas ETF will uh, retrace back towards the 98 to 100 zone up above. And if it's strong enough, there could even be a move to back to 104 to 106. But none necessarily a reasonable upside target. Nonetheless, uh, there is likely to be a bounce here and we probably will see at least about a 10% rally uh, off of these lows. Next year, I want to take a look at the ISC Chindia Index, which is a symbol ICK, and uh, we've seen some very, very aggressive selling that occurred in this index uh, uh, in that month of May, and really at this stage with us now having again retested those bottoms around that 42, 43 level, uh, and the way that the market is shaping up, it is likely that we are going to see further bouncing. It would be, un uh, it would be perfectly natural for us to see even rallies to test $48 and maybe even as high as $50, $51 on the right circumstances. Uh, nonetheless, uh, that doesn't make us in the big picture bullish, but it certainly does leave room for someone who buys this index to potentially make themselves 5% uh, or 10% on the upside as uh, we probably will see a nice rally in the next little bit. Finally, I want to take a look at the IC Water Index, which is symbol HHO. And uh, this particular index has sh uh, shown uh, a very strong similarity to that of the S&P 500. So uh, this, uh, we can see that after putting in the hen shoulders top and then subsequent retracement down to uh, retesting the 8385 zone on the downside, we are likely to probably see this index continue to bounce upwards, uh, maybe testing 88 to $90. And if the S&P was to muster up a rally all the way back to its previous highs, it would not be out of line for the water index to uh, follow suit and potentially even get as high as the 93 to 95 zone during one of those rallies.
That was your ISC ETF and Index Outlook. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. For more information about Patrick Ceresna and to sign up for free ETF and index trade alerts, visit www.optionsource.net. To learn more about ISE's indexes and ETFs, visit us at www.ise.com forward slash ETF.